Hey everyone, it's Big Rat 3, Ted here again. Yeah, my voice is even worse than usual. Uh, let me got, tell you something, guys, about all you people who like to play uh, sports for, for a local team, for a county team, for your school, for whatever. When you're in conditioning, being healthy is more important than being in shape. If you have a really bad cold, do not show up to practice because A, the workout won't be at its full extent, and B, with the season starting soon, you can't risk being sick when the season starts. Myself, like an idiot, went to conditioning, and now I feel even worse than I did before, and the coach told me not to show up to the rest for the rest of the week to heal up, and then on Monday when, when, the real season, when the season starts, then I can come back if I'm better, and only if I'm better. Words if I had sat out this week, probably sat out tomorrow, I would have been better by Friday and guaranteed to be playing better, ready by Monday. Don't be a macho man. Don't listen to what the news says. Oh, you know, tough it out. You know, I had a broken leg and I worked out. All this bull. If you're sick, seriously, taking a day off isn't a bad thing. You can't, you do not want to be unhealthy when the season begins because then you'll be unhappy, you'll be miserable, you'll be dogging everything. Trust me, it's best to stay healthy. Okay, people really like my series. Um, if I known that I was one match away from the four and a quarter star matches, I would have put that number fifty four on the last video, but I didn't. So too bad. Okay, so we start off with Rey Mysterio versus John Morrison, probably the WWE's TV match of the year. This is excellent. Should have Rey Mysterio had an awesome year. Uh, a lot of people really, really, really like it, like four and a half star worthy. I don't agree with that at all, to be honest. But I do think this was an excellent match. Possibly the best SmackDown match this year, which actually does say a lot, believe it or not. This was a very fun match to watch. Very enjoyable. Four stars. Next, we got Robert Strong and Daniels on HD net. Quite possibly their worst, the worst match these two have ever had, but that's saying very, 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 very little. Because their other matches were amazing. I mean, you can't expect them to top them. Uh, this was excellent stuff, though. Um, Brian Danielson leaving. What sucks about this match, what hurts the match, is that they don't show Danielson's speech on the show. They they show it next, like the next episode, which I thought that was really fucking stupid. Unless my DVR cut me off, but I'm pretty sure it didn't. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I remember it fading out. That's what hurts the match, but still for a quarter. Next we get Punk and Jeff Hardy. Some people really like this match. Some people say it's the best ladder match WWE has had since the first Money in the Bank. I disagree with that. I think it's the best ladder match since the four-way at Armageddon 2006. No, I thought Shelt I thought the World's Greatest Tag Team Hardy Boys is better than this. But this was still excellent. I just thought it was a little disappointing. I think people kind of overrated a little. The ending didn't make a lot of sense. Jeff Hardy lands on top of CM Punk's body through a swanton. CM Punk... His back is against the table, and he goes through the table. Yet CM Punk not only gets up before Jeff Hardy, he gets up like an extra minute before Hardy does. And Hardy has to fight to climb the ladder to knock him off, which makes no sense. Kenta Tyler Black, excellent match. Probably the worst, Kenta's worst match this year, I think. No, Kenta Crucio, which says a lot, which says a lot, a lot. This was just great. Well, the worst match that I've seen. This is epic. I think this match should have happened a little earlier when Tyler Black was more over, when Tyler Black was more of the main event guy. By this point, end of an age, this was after Manhattan Mayhem, where he didn't win the title. Like, right after Sting with Jimmy Jacobs. They should have done this around February to March, when uh, Tyler was uh, in the feud with Nigel, and when Kenta was in the feud with Nigel. It made more sense there. Brian Nance and Silas Young. Possibly Silas Young's best match of all time, people say. I thought this was excellent. Showed that Silas Young was a legit main eventer, and this was awesome. AJ Styles Dangerous. I don't want to talk about matches that just happened recently. I more want to talk about the matches that I haven't been able to talk about yet. This was great. Underrated. Check it out. Young Bucks Generico Final Battle. Again, great. Underrated. Check it out. Uh, and the best Generico match that wasn't uh, the, the Ladder War. Yeah. The best Generico match that wasn't the Ladder War, I believe. Again, I could be wrong on that. No, eh, whatever. The Young Bucks versus the Dynasty at Speed of Sound. Very, very underrated. I really like this match. I thought this match was very fast-paced. Very enjoyable. E very easy to sit through. Please go check out this match. On Speed of Sound. It's, uh... I already talked about Chris Hill, Roddick Strong, but this match just stole the show for me. 
I thought the match was that good. I thought it was excellent, high-flying, fast-paced action. And coming from Joey Ryan and Carl Anderson, that's very surprising. So please go check that match out. Very underrated. And I can watch Jimmy Rave. You guys know how much I love this match. In my opinion, it's better than Punk, uh, Punk Rave. Dog collar match. Stole the Chicago show. Made the Chicago show truly something special. Go check it out if you haven't already. Uh, but you probably have because the Chicago show is bringing a lot of second best show this year, in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, now we get Drake Younger versus B-Boy for the CCW World Heavyweight title at Severed Ties. This is the only CCW match on the list, but this is CCW's match of the year. This match is amazing. Uh, very, very good. Very fun to sit through. Uh, blood actually means something in this match. And, you know, they did a whole sell. By the way, people can bash CCW all they want. These guys fucking care about this promotion. They did, like, a promo at the end with all of them in the ring saying, this is what we love to do. It was just so cool to see. These guys have passion for the business. B-Boy looks a lot like Homicide, but that's a different story. This was an excellent, excellent match. I really enjoyed watching it. Please, CCW deserves your money. They deserve your money with this match alone. I promise you that. Go buy Severed Ties. You won't regret it. Um, now, I will check out CCW a little more because I think uh, they deserve it. After, you know, just put on a pretty good, mat pretty good match and a pretty good show, I heard. But I know that doesn't mean they're very good. I know people shit on this promotion a lot, but still, I, they deserve something. They deserve, they deserve at least like fine for ten dollars something. Pay them their money. They deserve it for this match. They deserve to know they did a good job. Jerry Lynn National McGinnis Super Card of Honor. What can I say? Really loved it. Excellent, excellent. Jerry Lynn finally ends Nigel's one year, year and a half title reign. Beautiful, beautiful match. People can bash Jerry Lynn all they want. He was a great, 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 great champion. Every one of his title matches are on this list, except for his match with Jay Briscoe. That's just amazing. Stenerico versus the Wolves, Ladder War. This match was a disappointment, but it was still their best match. If that makes any sense, the substance in this match was better than, uh, than in their previous matches. You know, it just looked like it was kind of disappointing. It was kind of botchy, but I can't deny that it, it kind of was their best match, whether I want to admit it or not. So... Yeah, but anyways, moving on. Uh, next we get uh, Roderick Strong versus Jerry Lynn, a cut above. Holy shit, this is great. This is very good, actually. This might be... Is this Roderick Strong's best match this year? I'm not sure on that. It could be Roderick Strong's... Yeah, I'm going to say it's Roderick Strong's best match this year. Which is a lot, because he's had a great year. But this was an excellent, excellent match. He gets busted open. Makes the crowd love him. I really love... You got to respect Roderick Strong a lot. And Jerry Lynn after this match. This was very cool to see, very enjoyable. And everyone must check it out. Uh, it's a it's a very good match. Uh, Cornell Desmond Wolf, Final Resolution. I already talked about it, don't want to talk more about it. I really like it. America Wolf is Kenta Roderick Strong. This match is very unique because three out of the four people in this match are what may believe to be Ring of Honor's three best wrestlers this year. Number one, Kenta, you know, didn't wrestle full time, but still Kenta. Number two, Davey Richards, and then number three, Roderick Strong. So it's very interesting to have them all in one match. And Eddie Edwards, who's had a pretty good year himself. So this was <clears throat> very, very good. I wanted it to go a little longer. That's my only problem with it. It was only like, I don't even think it was 20 minutes. I know that sounds like a lot, but from these guys, like I really wanted something good for a quarter. But I got something great. But I wanted something amazing. That's what I meant to say. Eddie Kingston, Chris Hero, final battle. Just talked about it. Excellent match. Eddie Kingston, the second best match of the year. Moving on. American Wolves versus Tina Danielson. The most underrated American Wolves match of the year. It's probably their second best match this year, actually. Yeah, I think it's their second best match this year. I love this match. Validation is so underrated. This match is so underrated. It was originally supposed to be Brian Danielson and Tyler Black. But um, Tyler Black was hurt. So they brought in Kevin Steen. Just like in the Never Say Die show, it was supposed to be Jerry Lynn versus Tyler Black. Tyler Black was hurt, so they replaced Tyler Black with uh, Chris Hero. This was still very, very good. Very, very fun to watch. And Kevin Steen was supposed to fight Sanjay Dutt, and Sanjay Dutt fought Chris Hero. This excellent match. Very great technical wrestling. I, I wanted to give it four and a half when I first saw it. Excellent, excellent stuff. Must see. Possibly the American Wolf second best match this year. Next we get the Elimination Chamber, the second best opener this year. People forget what makes this chamber match great, which is the Edge getting eliminated in five minutes and the Taker Triple H ending, which is amazing. Chris Jerry Lynn, possibly Jerry Lynn's best Ring of Honor match of all time. No, but it was Chris Jerry's best Ring of Honor match of all time, and this was Jerry Lynn's best single time match of all time. Go check the show out. Four One Inch Net. I've talked so much about this match. This match was number two match of the year for a long time for me. This was excellent, fun stuff. HC Nets second best match of the year. Must see this match. It's very, very good. Kendrick and the Young Bucks for Seema and the Guns. Uh, very funny and very fun to watch. Seema actually 
the whole get the story of the match is actually some gay jokes, which from SEMA is kind of weird, but it's pretty funny. You'll enjoy it. Four and a quarter stars, really, really enjoyable. Naruki Doi for Shingo, awesome, awesome, awesome main event. I still, I still think one match was better. I don't even think this was a match of the show, but excellent, excellent match. Go check this match out. Y2FW really likes it. I just don't think it's that great. Young Bucks been a little more fiber. In my opinion, this is going to be very controversial. Uh, the Young Bucks best two-on-two tag match this year. I thought I just thought this match had everything. I thought it had comedy. I thought it had great wrestling. I thought it had a good storytelling. I thought it had super funny moments. I just thought it had everything. That's why I love it so much. And I really think it's that good. I really think it's that amazing. It's so fun to watch. Can I tell Dr. Strange Nakajima? What, what more can you say? Nakajima and Tyler Black in another match together. Awesome, awesome. Four and a quarter. Chikara Eman Showcase. Awesome. I originally gave this like four and three quarter. I'll admit I overreacted, but this was still a very fun match to see. Chikara showed why they are the Lucha Libre style of the United States, but in a better way. This is just pure awesomeness. Go check this match out. I'm Big Rift Part 4.